So we've gone from being the monster to running from the monster in Sponge Massacre. SpongeBob hasn't gone to work in a very long time. He's been acting suspicious. Bikini Bottom Police got a call from Mr. Krabs. He reported strange noise coming from his home. The next day, Patrick, Squidward, and Sandy were reported missing. Bikini Bottom Police decided to raid SpongeBob's house. You ready, guys? It's time to go in. Find seven Krabby Patties to open the secret drawer in the kitchen. Okay, are my buddies coming in? Nope. Okay. SpongeBob? Oh, your house is it's like a TARDIS. It's much bigger on the inside. Square up, G. Square up. I'm shooting you. 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 It's like Slender and Hello Neighbor. Here's the first one. Nope, that was probably a bad idea. I have two Krabby Patties. Now I'm in the bathroom. That wasn't a mirror. What the fuck? What the shit, SpongeBob? What happened to you? Are you eating fish? Are you a Kaminal? No, I thought SpongeBob was for you good. Yeah. Got it. Okay, what's that? Like four? Five? He's been stockpiling. Hi, ah! Oh my good god. SpongeBob should not be scary. Barnacle boy? Please don't get up. Please don't get up. Okay, at least his body stay in there. Sandy? Squidward! No! There's a patty here. Oh no. Oh. Ah! Ending one of two. Son of a bitch. We're doing that again. I'm getting the good ending. Now you see there was a very loud noise there which made it seem like I got scared but I didn't. So to prove that this game isn't scaring me. We put on face cam. I'm not setting up on my lighting because we're going to beat this in a, in a couple of minutes. So first things first. Spongebob appears. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. Four. <laughs> Bitch. I am so good right now. I am so good. Bonaco boy, I am so sorry. Why are you even here? Right, let's go down this one this time. Sandy? Five. Okay. Six. The last one is with Squidward. So we go down here. We get Squidward. And we get this last one. I will not look behind. No! Oh! You said not to look behind! So apparently this fucker is a bastard. Believe it or not, the possessed guy that's killed all his friends is a bastard. Can I have a bath? No. Got him. So we go down here. Farewell, Squidward. My sweet prince. Now we head down to Sandy. Now apparently, as well as just being a sponge, he's also a bullet sponge. Poor Plankton. He's still alive! And as before, we get five, we get six, and this bastard, this bastard, he put seven, he put three of them in one room. Who would expect that? Not me, pro gamer. I am not terrified. Don't even know what the phrase means. Oh! Yeah, fuck that patty, dude. It's fake. The patty is a lie. Where's Mr. Krabs? He's a bit absent from this one. Unless these two are connected and... <laughs> Don't try to leave. I won't try. I will succeed. Get out of my way. Oh. You good, bro? What the fuck? Why is he black and white? Do it. Do it. Oh my... Well... Well, I guess Plankton's the, the sole survivor? You left Spongebob's house confused and scared. Spongebob got what he deserved. He killed nine people in four days. Never thought this would happen. So, nine people. So he killed Patrick, Squidward, Sandy, Barnacle Boy, Gary. Did he kill Plankton? That's six. Either way, I'm glad we're done with that now. I can turn my face cam off. Okay, bye. After that traumatization, we're playing the unofficial sequel 
to a SpongeBob Glock pants or Sponge Glock Bob. Huh? Mr. Krabs needed more employees, so he cloned himself with Plankton's machine. So is this a sequel? But oh my! That is so loud. That is so. Uh, excuse me. Uh, what? Uh, oh, what? My computer. I, I, I have, I have, um, um. Get away from me, please. What am I supposed to do here? Let's try that again. Turn that fucking volume down. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now it's working properly. Okay, I wasn't shooting properly before. Oh, okay, please. It's like zombies, you just gotta train them. You just gotta tr tr Oh, I can't go down that way. Okay, there's there's not really much room to train them. But we're getting there. He's going low, unless that's me getting low. Nope, I died. How, how do you how do you win? That's what I wanna, how, how do you win? Because I'm a winner. So when I play a game, I don't wanna know how to play out. I don't wanna know the story. I don't wanna know about the romance options. I wanna know how to win. Also, how am I getting hurt? When I didn't die the first time. This makes no sense. Is this the last of them? Am I, is, am I gonna win? Oh my god, that was level one. Th this this game just has no chill. What is this? Flying Krabby Patties? Why am I getting hurt? Why am I getting hurt? I have to start again? So them being on top of me with miniguns doesn't hurt me. But it's the... It's the <laughs> these stray bullets that are doing the real damage. I don't understand. Like, how am I supposed to dodge these bullets? They just don't go away. They just keep moving. They're sentient. Do I just have to keep being on the move? I guess so. It's just hard when the game controls like ass. <laughs> do I have to do it at a certain speed? Oh my gosh. Not that way. Lots of bullets that way. Okay, that's this is a bad place to be. This is a very bad place to be. Oh wow. Oh okay. This works. They're too far. I can't do damage to them. Is that like a safe place then I guess? That just isn't very safe. Okay, so far I've taken no damage. I take damage being in bullet storms. That makes sense in a sentence. But that's because bullet storms aren't normally literal storms of bullets. Okay, I just need to get out of this area. Oh no, that's horrible, it's horrible. Oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's like, I don't think the bullets despawn, which is the the difficult thing. Okay. Can't touch this. Da na na na. Da na. Da na. Oh, there's so many more. Oh, this level's so big. Okay, we have to get in the water. Okay, nice. Take out as many as we can from around here. Because you can't... Unlike zombies, you can't train things that have miniguns. Well, that was a fun game. <clears throat> the final game, and dare I say the one I've been looking forward to the most this whole time, we're here with A Day with SpongeBob SquarePants. It's a dating simulator. Now, before you play, just let me tell you something first. This game was meant to be a joke. It doesn't matter if you want to date an anthropomorphic dish sponge in a non-rotting pineapple house. This game should not be taken seriously. I'm going to take it so damn seriously. I'm in the bikini bottom. My, my dream one day is to be in the bikini bottom. It's my super kawaii waifu Spongebob Babu. Whoa, OMG. Whoa, Spongebob. Everybody knows me. Fuck off. I can't wait for him to be my friend. You're friends learning yourself already. It's never going to work. Spongebob wanted to give me something. You can have this for a try. He gave me a Krabby Patty. From all the games I've been playing, I thought he was going to give LSD or cocaine or something. Nom. Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Wanna go jellyfish fields? Can we meet Sandy? SpongeBob and I started jellyfishing for some long times and I never grew tired of it. It was so much fun. And so we decided to go home. Seems fun. There's just one more thing. SpongeBob gets close and ends up kissing me. SpongeBob is my boyfriend. Okay. It might seem like I've caught this weirdly. This game's been open for 90 seconds. I love him so much, Doki Doki Spongebob Senpai. It was all a dream. Oh well, my life is destroyed. What the fuck?